Hey everyone! So it has been a while since I uploaded a bullshit video about myself and my hot rod and motorcycles and stuff. Here I am. I stand beside America. Road captain! <laughs> oh yeah. So I recently, two months ago, I saw the Goldwing, the old Goldwing. My buddy took his motorcycle since that stand, that stood out there, where the VN800 here. Literally, I had problems with my motorcycle, electrical problems. I turned it off, went shopping, and then came back, loaded everything in the saddlebag, even one saddlebag, and then tried to start it, and there is no even a relay uh, action sound, nothing. Like if the key is turned off, you know. And I had to take all the motorcycles apart over one week, working on it every day after work and in the weekends. And in the end, yeah, I found out that these were corroded in the inside. Yeah, that sucks. But anyway, back to our. Uh, main uh, subject here, the red rod. As you can see, I took off the firewall. I don't remember what I posted in the last video that I shot and stuff what I talked about. It has been a while, as I said. So, just beginning from here. What I think it's new, maybe. So, I have new tires. Newer for the hot rod. This one, I think it is new. 13 inch on the front. They come from Trabant, but they have that old school, ah, you know. And seven and 15 inch from the on the rear. They have not this exactly the same, but it's even an old school stuff. The rims are pretty wide. I don't know if if someone of you have does have the experience. If I take some or I cut those rims to make them uh, thinner, not so fat, slimmer, slim, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Would the tires go higher, the tire wall here, would that get higher or it stays the same height? Because as you can see here, the rims are pretty, pretty much too wide for the tires. The distance between the body and the tires is pretty okay. So if I have to cut the rims, I will cut them from the outside maybe, or I don't know. But I won't go for that because it's pretty uh, much arbeit, in, uh, much work, you know. I mixed up English and German. And the problem with those are Mercedes rims that works on the Muscovich axle I have and the problem I don't find others that have the same design and that have the same bolts or holes for the bolts. Yeah, I, I, it's not very important but I don't know if they got a bit higher maybe a few inches one or two inches higher it will be okay it will be cool so tilting steering wheel no it's just one I still have to, 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 to mount that correctly. I have changed the front suspension. Pretty much the whole system. Yeah. It's the same concept, but I went for uh, motorcycle. Yeah, not exactly motorcycle, those scooters. Yeah. Springs. And now you can see it now. I will try move my feet in the car without moving the camera with no I have to put the camera on side and then try to move that there is much much more difference just because I changed this angle to the to the inside now it's not, normally it will be perfect if I put it vertical 100% 90 degree here, uh, let's say, yeah, but still not sure. 
those are just bicycle seat mounts that I have to change later or I have to strengthen them with some rod here in the middle or something like that because they won't hold in the end all the way then but yeah it's for the moment what I am going for the um, as you know my uh, cooler here the grill was sanding here I think that level yeah I cut the mounts you know here in the front so I put it a little bit about three inches backward and I still have just enough place to feed an electric fan out there yeah and when it's pretty much to the front there is a lot of empty space out there still I, still I know it's still just put like that not mounted permanently now we have rear suspension and the car uh, rear suspension oh yeah Uh, motorcycle suspensions that I had laying around I wanted to use a VN 1500 suspension but I gave them to my neighbor here once back a few days back a few months back and I put them already on his red rod so and they are pretty expensive to purchase new ones and the problem I had is that uh, I'm just connected, I have just connected the trunk LED light to that battery charger to have light to working light on the under the car or from the rear. The problem is, as I said, when I mounted everything and then let the car standing on its own wheels, what I had was the car was tilted or how to call it. To the left, to the to, to the passenger side, and it's pretty much, I think, three inches of difference. And uh, that was pretty annoying. When you sit inside it with your weight, it's okay. But when it's standing, and in the end, you're not gonna drive that thing on the road. It's just a show car, so it will stand empty most of the time. And I want it to stand uh, exactly the same angle, you know. Yeah, I even cut those. Oh, how to call them? Spindles and everything. I remade that from scratch. Let me try to make light here. Yeah, I made that new from scratch. I had the smaller dishes here. I made pretty bigger ones. And I'm going for other steering system and everything you can think about. Here's a closer look on what I am doing here. Those parts need to be changed or strengthened. They are from a bicycle uh, suspension. I don't know if the springs are okay in, right, like that or I have to turn them upside down. Not sure what. This is way, the way they look like right now. I don't know if there is a correct and a wrong position. Yeah. So then I had to put some washers here. There are a few washers here in between on the driver's side just to lower the car from this side and maybe it gets okay. So it got okay, but the problem is it went wrong from after I just tried to rock it here, you know, left and right. It just got back to the, you know, wrong position. So I, I have to, I had to check from the rear and then I drilled a hole here. And you can see that there was another one here on the bottom. You can see my finger through it. You know, and I made these spring higher. So it just, went better for a half of an inch I think I think I mean one centimeter 
so it went a bit even more even than it was so because I don't have more place to change here so I went to the other side here it was already there is no more chance to make more stress on this spring from the top so I went to the bottom it's all new system here what you can see so I have to lay down here to show you everything so as you see right there where is my finger Yo, there is a hole here on the bottom that's where the rear passenger side spring were mounted so I drilled one hole on the a bit higher and moved it there so now the car is standing from all angles the same height to the uh, ground yeah pretty good uh, and satisfying uh, result what you see out there that part is a pretty pretty thick metal that I cut from a pretty thick tube or how to call it you know so that thing is not going anywhere and I even kept some angles if you can see that I don't know so it is an L shaped a little bit to be more strong here this pan hard on the rear it was a mistake so I corrected it and then rebuild and rebuild to fit it because it was wrong as you see here it looks pretty bad but it's the solution I had to make it even because in the <laughs> beginning I had this one here up and the car went go you know the suspension went work on that way you know just one side make a good suspension and the other side goes left to right so the, tra the suspension travel from one side up to down like it should be and the other side is <laughs> you know so there is no chance to make it work that way so I had to build every little part as the last time so I'm actually almost building a new all new car you know yeah but you know that's the fun of the fun of it and so this one is not gonna stay like that so it's pretty much lo too low to the ground you know there is no clearance at all, so I have to change it later. Just now I want to finish the steering on the front to make the chassis pretty more steerable and rolling so that I can move it backward, forward, turning it around. And then later I will work on that. Yeah, I'm going pretty slowly because... Yeah. I'm going pretty slowly because of many other projects aside. And yeah, guys, so that messy here that I forgot <laughs> to finish because before I paint the car is going to disappear. Of course, I will order another paint and stuff. And I don't know if you saw already the engine. Yes, transmission. I think I thought I, I think I saw. I showed that already in one other video. I have to finish the frame, cross member on the rear that I cut. I cut already, so I have to make another one. The whole thing is pretty much heavier right now. So it's another other size, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make brakes on the front because the problem I have again, is that the rear axle is much, the wheels are much narrower than the front one is much brighter and I don't like that. So, uh, much wider, I'm sorry, much wider. So I'm not going for putting more half an inch from each side so for brakes and stuff. Not sure, maybe I will. You know, if it won't break with the rear ones, I have to find another solution. Maybe I cut the axle on the middle and make it we weld it a bit shorter, shorter, you know, to make it narrower on the front or something. I must have a solution. And the same mistake 
Look how stupid I am. The same mistake on the panhard I made on the rear, I already made on the front. You know, so the front panhard. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So I had yesterday at night, I had to cut everything and try to refit the panhard. 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 Again. Yeah. Still not sure, maybe next year I have other planning for my whole stuff I am doing. If this thing is finished, well, will be finished, I will put it for sale this time. Yeah, I didn't want, because my first, very first car, I wanted to finish it, keep it, maybe, and I wanted to build another one here. I was not sure, I'm still not sure if this one, it will be street legal, because this is a uh, 1934, I talked about it already in a previous video, 1934 Opel frame, and I wanted, I know if I were going for three window, coupe or coupe, or, or a, uh, art and deco kind of roadster six meter long car you know <laughs> that goes for a half a million maybe maybe it will be my <laughs> my uh, how to call it my retirement i meant yeah so but i think now this one will go for sale this one will go for sale and everything around maybe maybe i don't know after this august i will make sure how my life will go later maybe i will go for another adventure life adventure because since 2014 I'm working on other dream of mine already six years right now and it's about going minimal on a sailing yacht maybe Caribbean America Panama crossing the Pacific Atlantic and the Pacific Asia still not sure I want to make a trip for five years long, four years long trip, you know. And it's a long story. I'm planning for that, how I can afford to do that for those years without having to work daily. And yeah, but yeah, it will, be, it will be pretty hard to explain. You know, I wanted to make that car something something like something very very high end street performance old school looking something like Morgan or the old Dilla Hayes but really you know performant on the today's traffic but I think that won't work or maybe it works but it will take longer time and much more money and not sure if I can do that and with hot rods you're not gonna earn so much money you know to afford some stuff like that a hot rod we go for for 15,000 euros here or 20 25 you're not going so far with that yes yeah, so I have already plans and stuff I'm not gonna talk about that on this channel maybe because we are here all automotive guys and you know most of my viewers, you're older guys and you have more life experience than I. So maybe you have to comment or <laughs> to say something in comments and stuff. But I'm not sure, maybe I can do that car stuff, but I won't get it for a half a million or one million salt. So I will lose everything. So it's just an idea, but I'm not sure because I saw already on the market some stuff for three million dollars. And they are pretty, you know, of, made of fiber class and stuff, you know, cars I mean, so Delahaye replicas and stuff with V8, small block Chevy and 
And I had ideas and dreams. Maybe I can make it something better and put it for that price range. It will be my retirement. But I don't think I, I don't think if I have luck or not. But I have other plans, you know. And yeah, I'm 37 years old. I had enough traveled and lived in four different countries and. I knew and met a lot of people and mentalities and stuff and I want to go for the big adventure someday because you know after the big motorcycle accident I had after 2016 it changed all my life and now nowadays with that corona stuff what's going around today it makes you look to the life from another perspective or how to call it from another side is all what I am doing. It's okay, it's fun and satisfying, but is that really my dreams in life? Not sure about that, but who knows? <laughs> who knows, you know? Because I'm not sure, you know? Next year will be, or end of this summer will be a decision taking time maybe yes or no or maybe i will immigrate to canada you know west side of canada is a dream vancouver and stuff but out there i have to work i have to take daily job i have to or maybe be building such stuff making something to afford my life out there it's pretty expensive the west coast of uh, canada is a pretty expensive place to live in uh, there is more freedom than here in germany you can such stuff, you ride it on the street, you can get a VIN, a V, fake identification number on, on that, and you know, I searched already on the rules out there how it works. Uh, not like the USA, I know the USA is something different, but uh, what we see today on the internet and television, what's going on in the USA, they go to Canada. You have more USA and Canada, more American dream than <laughs> the United States. So that's why. Uh, and if I get my hands on a little bit of money, I wish it goes, it comes end of this summer. I will invest in some uh, flats, two flats where I live out there. I will buy them and rent them and for that money. I will make myself a retirement, sell everything I have here, buy a sailing boat and goodbye uh, land. <laughs> goodbye land, hello seas, high seas and Caribbean. Who oh, no, knows? I'm not sure, but it's a dream since 2014, now six years old dream and I was always fascinated by those type of things. I'm pretty good welder, I can take a welding machine with me and I can take some tools, maybe I can even work to all the Caribbean stuff, fixing other boats, making other stuff for other people where I can earn more money to dive into more uh, uh, adventure and stuff, but yeah, now we keep it hot rod and retro, right rod, a motorcycle. If we survive this corona side, uh, this corona time, days, uh, maybe we'll go for something different in the future, I hope. Um, thanks again for watching everyone, watching my bullshit and stories. <laughs> uh, who knows, maybe. Maybe I will keep building that bullshit, that bullshit here and <laughs> start trying to move it around. Yeah, peace everyone and have a great week and a great time. Yeah! And today in Germany is Mother's Day. I don't know if it's international, it's May 10th. So happy Mother's Day to all moms out there. Uh, no, I don't think there is a lot of moms watching my stuff here. They are all guys. <laughs> Bye-bye. Enough. Enough. <laughs>